Tim and Tony Podcasting brings you a special edition of the Mild Manor Movie Review with your host, the Three Stooges. I'm Tim. I'm Tony. And I'm Looch. On this week's episode, we'll be reviewing The Rock. Along with everything else happening in the geek world. Are you not entertained? But tonight, we dine in hell! Great stuff. You play ball like a girl! So this week we all saw Black Panther. Yes, we did. Like, like a couple hours ago. Very recently. Very, very recently. Uh, what'd you guys think? I thought it was one of the better Marvel movies for being an intro, like an yeah, introductory intro, origin, yeah. origin story type. Different than all the other ones, at least. Yeah, I mean, they did a different way of the origin because we kind of knew him. Yeah. Right, they, we kind of have a, like a backward uh, origin. Like Spider-Man. And you only had one intro of a villain, kind of, because we kind of know Claw. Claw from right. the Avengers Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron, yeah. Yeah, yeah I liked it, though. We'll was have good. to do a review on it after a little bit. Yeah, that would take our, like, a whole, you know, <laughs> it, its own episode. <laughs> its own episode. But just favorite character was the sister. Yeah, she was yeah. a genius. Like, <laughs> She stole, I did see that she stole the show, yeah. She's uh, supposed to be smarter than Tony Stark. Yeah. Yes. I was reading. And I think I saw she might be in Infinity War. There might be. I wouldn't doubt. I'm sure. Like, yeah, because we're well, the... in Wakanda. And yeah. Right. So that'll be it'll be interesting to see if they if they show a scene where it's like Stark going like, okay, I need all of this tech right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. Or if they'll just be like, yeah, okay. They they collaborated and they got and he got it. Or yeah. him just talking about his suit and her making fun of it, like, <laughs> thinking like his suit is really badass <laughs> yeah. and she's just like, oh, that that's oh, cool. That, that's cute. <laughs> I did that like five years ago. <laughs> so you guys cute. I, I could do better. <laughs> it, it'll be. They did set it up at the end with the stinger. So yeah, we should. Yeah, I can't wait for Infinity War now. Very soon. Yeah. It's, it's already <laughs> almost March. Very <laughs> hyped on that. <laughs> Let's jump right into our first segment. What? Just a mild man in report. He doesn't want to be famous. And I'll make him infamous. General, haven't you ever heard of freedom of the press? Well, I'm not a cop. I'm a reporter. Gossip, rumors, panic in the streets. We're lucky. Vicky Vale. Well, I'm intrigued by Alex's giant bat story, so I... All of the uh, right, uh, the Batman. Nobody cares about Clark Kent taking on the Batman. It is not. I resent that. Slander is spoken. In print, it's libel. The police won't help. The press has to do the right thing. <laughs> you serious? First up on the docket, Colton Haynes may be up for a night ring rule. Nightwing role. He's been sending a couple uh, cryptic Twitter posts from <laughs> when uh, the director posted his like uh, his uh, poll on Twitter, yeah. and, and then he responded or <laughs> tweeted a, on his own. Well, it's just a Nightwing, just a Nightwing <laughs> like Nightwing question mark or something. Yeah. <laughs> so either he's pushing for it, or people were saying he might be getting like a voice Nightwing role or something, which would be fine. Yeah. I'm animated. still going with, he's just trying to get any job. <laughs> he's just like, I want to come back. <laughs> I'm sorry I left. <laughs> sorry I left. Please take me. Well, I mean, he is coming back on Arrow. Yeah. And I think we just got the synopsis, or I think they just released one. For his of, episode. For his episode. Yeah. I didn't read it, but. That, that show needs a boost, so I'm glad he's back. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to Colton Haynes, the boost. Yeah. <laughs> you know you're in trouble. <laughs> But I mean, as for if he would get the Nightwing role, I, I'm sure he could do the stunts. Yeah, he, he's he's got like the build for it. Yeah, get at least four backflips an episode. Yeah, <laughs> I do like him though as an actor, so I'm fine with that if they casted him because he can do comedy too. He he was in that that one movie with like Scarlett Johansson and 
a uh, bunch of other actresses where they oh, go up to like a uh, uh, bachelorette party or something. Uh, rough night. Or, uh, rough. Um, or something. Like something. I will look it up in a matter of seconds. Here. All right. The guy in the chair got a got <laughs> yeah, an upgrade, got, and then got a promotion, <laughs> demotion at, at the same time. Yes, yeah, so it's called Rough Night, and he's real Scotty. <laughs> he, he plays a cop, right? Or is a cop? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he was on American Horror Story because I did well, watch was, him in that, and he was like a corrupt cop in there type thing. Wasn't he on uh, Teen Wolf? Too, yep, for Teen a while Wolf. Yeah. After era, was that after era? Um, before, before, during actually, oh, yeah, same time. it's a whole time. He was off for a while, and then he came back at the like end of it. It looks like okay. Yeah. So. Next up, Tommy Wiseau campaigning for the Joker standalone movie. <laughs> And this is the first I've seen him and actually right before this. And the pictures are hilarious. And just looking at him, you don't really need makeup. He's <laughs> got like the wrinkles and like the skin. Just paint his face white. Give him... I'm not sure if you have to paint his face oh, yeah. white. He doesn't really tan if you've seen <laughs> recent days. He's pretty white. Just put Heard lipstick of... on him and call it a day. Dye his hair green. He's done. Like, he's oh, hi, lit. Batman. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be all I think of now. <laughs> hi, Batman. Oh, hi, Batman. I did not hit you, Batman. I did not. <laughs> I, did not. I did not hit you. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Uh, speaking of Batman, we got the Batman uh, Ninja trailer. The English version was released. And it looks crazy. It looks awesome. Yeah, it's not like straight up animation. It's like 3D. Looks like Telltale a little bit, like how they make the games. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, I, mean, I like it how it's you can tell each who each character is, but just with like the ninja twist to it. Or a sumo wrestler. Yeah, like <laughs> Bane. <laughs> sumo Bane. Sumo Bane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're throwing Batman at everything now. We had him as Jack the, or in a uh, Jack the Ripper Jack time. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, but that was a comic book story. I don't think yeah. they've ever had a samurai one though. Well, I they mean, might. I, I mean, there are I, all I, whole Japanese yeah. like anime or whatever manga ones or whatever that no one I wouldn't doubt it. But that would be. That would <laughs> be I would like to read it before. Oh yeah, be awesome. We also got a second Rampage trailer released with some more footage of the the wolf and. A lot more of the crocodile. Yes, more of the crocodile. Which I think is the main bad guy, I'm guessing. And more of the rock. Doing one liners. I can't bring myself to watch it. (laughs) It's going to be mostly one liners. (laughs) I can't wait for this movie. He's just going to get real drunk and watch it. (laughs) That's going to be the best way to watch it. He's back after uh, Jumanji, where it's kind of normal. He's like, "I'm going back to my, my <laughs> The Rock." <laughs> yeah, yeah, like Jumanji, he was like, "Okay, you know, he's acting, he's doing a little, totally different role than The Rock." And then he um, killed him. <laughs> <laughs> a little piece of him died. died. <laughs> he's definitely turning into something at the end of this movie. He just gonna rip his shirt off, like ah, turn into like Bigfoot or something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, now, now I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> It'll spawn a whole new series. Oh, that'd be great. He has, what, a movie coming out every two weeks? Starting uh, pretty soon? He's been in like four <laughs> movies in the last three months, at least. Uh, um, next, we have Pacific Rim 2, released trailer number four. Um, basically, as we said, I think they're throwing everything at the trailers, trying to get people interested. Yeah, because I guess it's set to make less than the first one. Obviously, yeah. I think they're expecting it to do not so well in the box. That's why they're giving us everything in the trailer. And I'm not really interested. <laughs> the trailers aren't working that. I mean, it's cool. Robots beating each other. It, it hasn't really done much to be like, oh, okay, they're doing something different from what I've seen. From what? From the last And I haven't even seen the first one. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I mean, it's probably come... more of just giant robots. And I think I'll see everything. it just because of Charlie Day, though. <laughs> She just went with the crossover of Cloverfield versus Pacific Rim. Yeah. And, yeah, two franchises or kind of doing bad. and <laughs> Godzilla or King Kong. Oh, they already, any of those. They already have those already, already yeah, doing their thing. They're like, we don't yeah, want to be associated with Pacific Rim. <laughs> Pacific Rim needs to pay them money. <laughs> Get into it. <laughs> Please take us. Yeah, but I feel like this is a movie you got to see in theaters, though, or else it's just not going to be as good. It, it's one of those made-for-theater movies yeah. where it's, it's mostly going to be CG. Yeah. I mean, you'll maybe have a couple of boardroom scenes or like a platform <laughs> yeah. looking it to a green screen. <laughs> I think uh, low expectations, but I think it's gonna overperform. It, it, it could probably think yeah. it's gonna be. 
I mean, hopefully, it did get though pushed back like a bunch and rewritten, <laughs> and then sure, canceled, then works. brought back. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of things going on with it. Uh, we also got a Ready Player One trailer, which we got to see during Black Panther. Yeah, one of the pre trailers. I might have like my head might explode from watching that movie, just like trying to find every reference. Like, okay, I'm gonna get lost in the movie looking at references <laughs> yeah. and be like, "Oh, well, what? What are what we doing now? <laughs> what just happened in two hours?" <laughs> That's a movie I have to get on DVD. Just to pause. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, wait, I know that. I know that. Just go f- uh, frame by frame because <laughs> I, I think they showed the Jurassic Park T Rex was in this one. I thought yes. I saw him. He is in. Uh, I seen it in a poster. I'm trying to think of new ones that I saw in this one, but. There's just so much. And the, the, I don't know if you guys watch Master and Nun. No, um, I know the about The chick it. from Master and Nun was in the... She was the one driving. He's like, uh, what are you doing? It's like, practicing my Mario Kart skills. <laughs> yeah. So she, I like her. She's funny, so... Yeah. I told you, it must have cost hours of just trying to call to be like, can we use this just for a, a second? <laughs> absolute nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> to get, like, like, to okay. get rights. <laughs> it's like, okay, this company owns the rights, but... Do they really own the race? <laughs> Can we talk to someone? Maybe rent it for like a day. Or... I mean, they're everywhere. They got tons of. I want to see the Iron Giant. There's a ton of wide it, shots uh, too. So it's is it Sony? That's really think it's one? Sony. Or Universal. Uh, it might be a joint up with something. Well, Spielberg's doing it, so it would be Universal. Universal, yeah. And they, I mean, they already own it. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Sony stuff. But... Yeah. I mean, every studio has something in there. I mean, I know there's Tom Disney stuff in there, too. A lot too. of Disney, yeah. Which I'm sure they were like, oh, okay, yeah, you can use it. It's not really yeah. going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt them to... Yeah, unless you're making the Disney characters the bad guys, which would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be cool. They'd never allow you to do that. You know, Buzz Lightyear murking people. <laughs> with, yes. this, with this laser, just like mowing down. It actually works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't have that in the script. <laughs> I like where your head's at, but no, we can't allow that. <laughs> All right, another trailer that got released during the Olympics was the Incredibles 2 trailer. Like a full, full blown trailer. Yeah, still kind of a. I, we got more of a plot. Still a little bit of a teaser, though. It yeah, it wasn't a whole little shorter. And not giving an idea of true villain yet. Yeah. Right. I do like that they have the, what is it, the Underminer? Underminer. The underminer. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, so, it, I mean, it takes place right after. Right after, yeah. it, picked, after it left off last time. Yeah, yeah. so that's going to be awesome. They need to have a super suit again. Uh, <laughs> Does it work? Some sort of reference or something. <laughs> yeah. he, he needs to just not be able to find it again. The same <laughs> seat, they could use the same scene. It would, it would be totally just fun. have the window, like, a different bad guy <laughs> attacking. And it's just like, where is my... Super suit. Yeah. <laughs> no, my super suit. <laughs> on super suits, Justice League is available through digital download now without the deleted scenes. I, say, I read some of them didn't have like the deleted scenes in the digital I, one. I actually bought it. Yeah. I'm so impatient that I want to watch it again. I was, I was at my cousin's and I was like, ah, I'm going to buy it. It does have pretty much every other feature but, but the deleted yeah. scene. It's got like, it must, I think it's at least like 45 minutes of. Wow. Behind the scenes stuff, which what, I haven't even started yet. What so, everybody wants is the deleted scenes, and I did read crazy news about the Justice League though that they've confirmed pretty much that what's his uh, Zack Snyder did get fired. I'm not crazy. That is an actual <laughs> like not fire, but that's like a grill maybe a, a grill maybe. But that, I mean, I know we have fireplaces in here, but that seems <laughs> that that's seems a, a little <laughs> side note. I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh wait! That flames are going down now. We might have okay, to so uh, we look might into be this. <laughs> Keep an eye on that. Let me say, if it moves over to the right a little bit, then I'll let you guys know. So that just kind of caught my eye, and now I don't see it anymore. No, so. I still see it, but I'm trying to see if it goes down. Yeah, our place might be going up in the place <laughs> right now. <laughs> Not <laughs> ours specifically, <laughs> but <In> our vicinity. <laughs> I don't see any smoke though, so I think we should. Weird. Be. Yeah, that's... yeah, it's not a reflection though. No, it's just that, then that would be even <laughs> it's behind you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, I've seen that for 10 minutes. Yes, it is. Let you know. We'll check on that in five. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to it. But. All right. Uh, we got a uh, Deadpool gave us some Valentine's Day cards. Yes. And what was on them? I'm trying to think. 
uh, I know he was he made he was doing like a his was B Arthur, and then yeah. Uh, I'm trying, trying to do. I, I know I one was from. Him, oh, I'll give you a sweet high five or something yeah. from the cab driver. No, I hear these ones. No, no, no. Those. Well, I also I don't know if you saw. Um, Cable did his version, version. of the Deadpool yeah. thing, but he he draw he drew uh, he drew the Wolf, uh, Wolverine <laughs> Origins Deadpool. Oh yeah, <laughs> on the easel, and then uh, and then uh, what is it? Deadpool did the uh, Goonies. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It hasn't grown so. <laughs> Status update on our fire over here. <laughs> it's just a light on in the next room. It could be the fireplaces on that wall. Yeah. yeah. But it we'll still we'll go with high. that. We'll go with that. It still seems too high for it. Yeah, it still <laughs> seems like a pretty raging. <laughs> uh, next up, John Favreau is set to voice an alien in the upcoming Solo, A Star Wars Story. Which I don't I think he said a character... Role. Yeah, it's just like the uh, the voice oh, or someone somewhat important alien too. That's what, yeah. Which uh, we'll we'll see what it. I like him, so it, it'll probably be something funny. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll see how the movie does it. Thinking, whole, but they, I'm trying to think. You know the guy that uh, Obi Wan Kenobi cuts the arm off of in the the guy in cantina? the cantina. Did he talk? Yeah. Yeah. And they're okay. in Ro- and they're no, also the in. Talks. But I was gonna, yeah, they're, they're in Rogue, Rogue One. One. I was yeah. thinking, what if he was the voice of that guy or something? Nah. If you do want to see a funny thing with them talking, watch uh, the Robot Chicken. They have like in one of their specials, they have the whole thing of what happened there. <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's going through the guy that doesn't talk, so like his storyline, <laughs> and he's just having a rough day, and that whole thing happens. You think the solo is gonna end with them in the cantina? With the cantina scene? Oh, yeah. That should, like, like, kind of like how Rogue One ended with Leia in there? I'm they, I'm guaranteeing they're going to have end it with Either some like tie him in. walking into the cantina or yeah. something along those lines. Or, yeah, I mean, you got to like, it that way. Maybe him walking into Jabba's... Jabba's palace? Yeah, taking yeah, a job maybe. and then... Doing the whole... Yeah, like, maybe so kind of like, yeah, Jabba, I'll take the job, and then it goes and through and cuts. cuts a screen... Because well, then maybe they, I mean they might get another movie out of this. They you know they're going to be milking Star Wars for a while. <laughs> oh yeah, they I well, think I mean, they have a they, new movie planned every year. Yeah, yeah. and then they uh, set up the two Game of Thrones directors for a whole other oh, yeah. and series of movies. and that guy that did the last one, he's got his own trilogy too. Yeah. So they have like three <laughs> new trilogies in the line. <laughs> and I got a feeling Lando's going to be like so loved in this movie because Donald Glover is oh, just awesome gonna, that gonna they're going to want everyone's going to want his own movie yeah <laughs> absolutely that'd be awesome there'd be no way he doesn't steal the show right. Sony had the opportunity in 1998 to acquire the rights to all the Marvel characters for 25 million they rejected the offer and acquired Spider-Man's rights for 10 million it's just a the math, well, the math doesn't yeah. work at all. But, but, I guess, uh, but if you go back to 1998, think of any Marvel movie before that. I yeah, wouldn't want to give them anything. Right, you, yeah. it's like you would be like, "Do I want to give you 25 have, million for this?" For all of these, <laughs> it's they like, have, like why? A list of them. It was like the the 90s Captain America movie, yeah. the Punisher, and then it was like the unreleased Fantastic Four. Oh, right. Did you have you ever seen? Uh, the guy that did Baywatch, why well, can't I remember? The Hawks. David, David Hasselhoff. His version of Nick, Nick Fury. Fury no. I watched 15 oh, minutes yeah. of it. The, it's like, original so Fury. bad. It's it was so a made, bad. It was a made-for-TV movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it was supposed to go in theaters, and then it didn't make it. Like, most Marvel <laughs> movies didn't. So, yeah, I guess the... I mean, uh, it makes sense when you think about it. The uh, CEO of Sony at the time was just like, no one gives a shit about the rest <laughs> of the Marvel characters. Just get Spider-Man, and that's it. <laughs> Yeah. But, but you know it, it worked and I think the only, and really in 1998 the only thing you had Blade was coming out and that was probably the only one that made semi yeah. bit of it's the only money. one that was popular it's been, it's been going a little bit higher and then coming back <laughs> still keeping an eye on that fire fire update, fire update. <laughs> <laughs> alright looks like it's time for some TVT trivia
week's theme is The Rock. Um, and again, not the actor, the movie. Not the actor, <laughs> Just the to movie. clarify. The Rock, the Rock, the movie. <laughs> the Rock, the movie. <laughs> You don't want to break anyone's hearts there. I thought no. we were just doing Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have the scores? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance. I do Please. not, but they are in the video because I've been doing that. I've been taking... So right now you'll be seeing across the screen what the updated scores are. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I knew I should have wrote these down too. I was like, yeah, I should write these down. Didn't. Because I was also wrong last week. Last week. I was yeah, wrong you, with the original I score. was... You, we had I gave my, you an extra point. Extra point, yeah. I did my math incorrectly. That's why we need a math guy. All right, so I still got the lead. Jesus. Um, I think by five. All right, I'll go first if you want. Yes, sure. Okay. I'm, I'm going to write my little... My Who Am I? This was okay. my first movie with Nicolas Cage, but it was not my last. Let's see, and I remember seeing I this, but... <laughs> the obvious answer would be Ed Harris. And my gut's telling me to just go with it, but um, there's also yeah. For the first one, I'm going to say Ed Harris. Ooh, damn it! I thought you were going to change it. It was Ed Harris. Ed Harris. Yes. <laughs> my number two was in both these movies. I redeem myself in death, and then the, the giveaway. My performances in Apollo 13, The Truman Show, um, <laughs> uh, Pollock, and The Hours earned me critical acclaim as well as Academy Award nominations. Did have to scratch out one of my trivia. <laughs> <laughs> That's one down. <laughs> Was it what other movie featured a hero and villain, Nick Cage and Ed Harris? Yeah, <laughs> that was what I would be thinking. All right, so I got that one. All right, let me pull up mine here. Um, so my who am I? Is I play the president in this movie. Oh. I. And I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of backups for this one, but I'll see if I can still get you. I'll see if I can get you there. Take me there. I can give you another I, one. I know that he played the president in Armageddon. That was, that was literally my <laughs> second. I, just, I don't know the what other movie. Pre, what other movie am I the president in? And it's or the other movie I'm a president is Armageddon. Yeah, I, I, and I know it's another <laughs> Michael Bay. I just don't know the actor's name. She's got rid of another trivia question for me. <laughs> and of sure. course, the, the list of people that I wrote down does not include, include the president. Doesn't include the president. Yeah. Okay, okay. I can, I'll, I'll try and get you to. Uh... Okay, first part. I'm going to break it up into like a who am I trying to figure out. I play a character in the office. My first name. Toby. Nope. Uh... Black character. <laughs> Stanley. Hey. Yep. And then for the last name, um, in the movie The Matrix, I'm usually called this. It's like a full name. Anderson. So. So uh, Stanley Anderson. Stanley Anderson. What else is he in? Anything else? Yes, he is in a lot of things. <laughs> He's the president in Armageddon. He was on the Drew <laughs> yeah. Carey Show, The Practice, American <laughs> Dreams, Runaway Jury, Law and Order, Red Dragon. Uh, he was in Spider Man. Oh, really? He was General Slocum. Is that like the main? Let me see a picture of this guy. Oh, okay. I don't remember what he looks like. I'll be honest. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's that guy. Yep. We'll post a picture of him. Uh, yep. Uh, yes, we will. And I mean, I want to go with he was in RoboCop, so he's kind of national <laughs> treasure. And how can, how can you forget that? Because he was in both uh, Armageddon and this movie, The Rock. That was my trivia question was, what two movies make up the Michael Bay cinematic universe? Uh, they oh. take place in the same. <laughs> At the same time. Give me trivia a while. <laughs> I will give you a point. Uh, half a point, because we got to. Or full point. What do you think? One. We'll, we'll give you one. Okay. Because I guessed your second question. You, yes. You, okay, and yeah. Then, we'll give you and one. And then I guessed the other two things. Yes. Seems fair. That is fair. All right. My yep. second question. Uh, how many times did they say the title The Rock oh, in the movie? That is a phenomenal question. I'm going to say four. That is incorrect. Three. We're halfway there. Eight? Eight. 
I had to look up a script. So, I, <laughs> Just to I counted it. seven when we were watching, but I missed one. That is a phenomenal question, though. All right, so I missed that one. Okay, let's delete my who am I. Okay. My second question, how old was General Hummel's wife when she died? Jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still playing hardball, all right? I got to catch up. You are playing hardball. <laughs> I will go with... I'll give you a range, just to make it fair. Okay. Uh, between 40 and 60. I'm going to go 47. You are extremely close. It's 48. <laughs> ah! oh, very good. And some may say I'm cheating, but... <laughs> some may all say the, all I'm the, cheating. All the information is in the movie. <laughs> this one is not. <laughs> what <laughs> Oscar was this movie nominated for? That would be Best Sound. Oh. <laughs> best Sound Direction, I think. Just Best Sound. Best Sound. Nice. Nice. And I do have a point update. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. 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 So it started with Tim having 25.75 and Tony having 23. Oh, wow. I caught up. Well, I don't know. You guys have this actually. It's but starting. Think, so, it's, Tim, you might have ended oh, with yeah, 28.25. I, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 20. So 28.25 to 23 starting for today. Okay, that sounds, that sounds more like <laughs> Man it. in the couch. <laughs> Man from the couch to the table. <laughs> to the table. All right. All right you're, My right. third one is, what line is taken directly from a Bond film that Mason says? Oh. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Kind of, I didn't get it. Should know this. We'll let you answer after if he nah. doesn't get it. Now nah, I gotta remember it though. I read it. Taken directly. I, I read something about this. Yeah, too. what line is taken directly from another Bond film said by Mason? And that film was Diamonds Are Forever. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> There's a little history to that too. Like a fan theory from that. That Mason is uh, oh, is actually yeah, Bond. Bond. He's, he's just yeah. as older. Yep, <laughs> because of that line. In the movie universe, it's true. <laughs> just a plain movie universe. What is it? I'm gonna. But of course you are. <laughs> yes. I'm still a good. Uh, but, but of, of course, course you are. are. Damn it. And he says that's like one of my favorite lines. <laughs> too. <laughs> okay, I got two bonuses. I have one. So. We... I'll just make mine double if you can. <laughs> okay. Well, one. All right. What stadium was the VX rocket heading to before Hummel rerouted it? I wrote it down because from earlier it's the. You want the name of the stadium, not just who what? plays there. No, you can tell me what what stadium in the movie. Uh, oh, it was the Oakland. I'm assuming Oakland Raiders Stadium. But yeah. I, Okay. Don't, that, that was, was a nit. That was, was, that that was what, point five. Okay. Now, what was the actual stadium in the footage? The name of the stadium. <sighs> yeah, see. <laughs> I'll give you another. If you can tell me the team, at least. Not not other than Oakland? Yeah. The actual footage that you... Wasn't oh, Oakland wasn't Raiders. Oakland Raiders. Um, San Francisco? Yeah, what... There's right, there's a couple of uh, 49ers. Yeah, uh, but I was looking for Candlestick Park. Candlestick Park. Because it was the old stadium. It bothered me so bad that they couldn't just say we're shooting it at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? Why not just say San Francisco? I think Michael Bay just hated uh, Oakland. He's like, nope, we would bomb Oakland. <laughs> we would uh, never bomb San Francisco. Do uh, .75. Okay, .75. Uh, total. All right. Now, this is a stretch, and it's... This might be cheating, straight up. But <laughs> so this movie takes place in San Francisco, yes. Yes. Another TV series that takes place in San Francisco is where I took my question from. Okay. What? Well, give, I'll give you a bonus. What series am I thinking of? <laughs> what series yeah. you're thinking of? That's it's, it's a TV series that took place in San Francisco. Alcatraz. No. You say it right. <laughs> Alcatraz. Uh, one more guess. Go. It's an it's from when we were growing up. Growing up, oh, mm-hmm. uh, Full House. Yes. <laughs> There's a character, DJ Tanner. Yes. What does DJ stand for? Oh my <laughs> god! Uh, Danielle. 
And maybe you might need to fact check this, but Danielle. I don't know what J. Well, the episode that was on TV yesterday with <laughs> a part of this was her name was Donna Jo. Uh, yep, Margaret. Donna Jo. Yeah, mm. yeah I would never. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a half point for Full House because it's like the longest name ever. <laughs> the episode was on, and it, it just said her full name. I'm like, all right, <laughs> San Francisco, close enough. <laughs> close enough. Cheating, maybe, but <laughs> still got points out of it. Okay. My second bonus. This film has two Oscar winners and one Oscar nominee. Who are they? Ooh. Point three three for each one. Point three. Uh, and you gotta so I have to one say which one's which. Yeah. Um, nominated it was Cage, I believe. Uh, okay, the three actors are say Harris, the actors: Ed Harris, Nick Cage, and Sean Connery. Sir, Sean Connery. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> sir. Sir Sean Connery. Connery has one. Yes. No, I'm going to flip it. Connery and Nick Cage have it, and Ed Harris was nominated. Correct. Correct. One point. No, point nine nine. Point nine. <laughs> I, I didn't say. <laughs> you did say point for two. Oh, this is going to throw a wrinkle in the math. Oh, you are doomed. One. <laughs> um, I did have one just for just shits for and giggles. Uh, uh, Sean Connery steals a car from this guy. <laughs> one of my other movies. <laughs> what other what movie? What other movie? Ed Harris steals a car from him in National Treasure. Yep. Because <laughs> I literally read that. that is the hum- and that is the Hummer owner, which I yeah. love. You stole my Hummer! You stole, stole my it. Hummer! <laughs> All right. I feel like you guys so, will have so, a couple so of So literally, mine. those two movies are in the same universe. Yep. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because well, wasn't, yeah, wasn't he a military guy in National yeah. Treasure? Yeah. Um, oh, my no. God. Yeah, some, some form of... I don't remember his ex. I think he no, he was just or like was a, just a, a treasure hunter too. But his okay, family his. never had like credit, and he wanted to have credit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that makes more sense. Okay, I left my phone in the other room. Yeah, so, so you don't have buzzers. <laughs> so I had to download one real quick. Let's see here what my buzzer sounds like. Nothing. <laughs> I won't do pretty well at this game. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. We're gonna. Oh, gotta turn my sound I'll make that mine. You're gonna play every one of them, Yep. This is Timothy playing every buzzer. Like I'm not <laughs> That's my winner. Fire Yours update, is... I think the fire is gone. So <laughs> I do not see him anymore. They found a fire extinguisher. <laughs> I didn't switch. <laughs> okay, that'll be mine. Okay, All right. it's, it's, and that's as loud as it'll be. So I'm... you know what? We're gonna go with all seven that I have left <laughs> since you guys killed a couple of them. <laughs> and I think you guys probably saw the same stuff I did, so you'll have a couple of these probably right away. Are we ready? We'll just do one point each. They're yep. pretty simple. All right, for the first one, when did Alcatraz close? Why did I buzz in? Oh, <laughs> did you buzz? Oh, no, I didn't. So then I get to... <laughs> yeah, get you to, can rebuttal. Okay. Oh, crap. I watched the show. Because they closed... <laughs> and I know. <laughs> they closed it during shooting, or short, shortly after. It was open while they were shooting. I meant... Uh, no, I'm talking about when it closed, when it closed to for, prisoners. So not like tourism. 64. You are incorrect. Okay. 1963. Do you know what month... I, we'll give, I was going to uh, give an extra credit was, for that. Really was, for... was I really that close? You yes. were really that close. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was scared when you started with the S. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with March. Yes. March 21st, 1963. And during filming, you were right. They did close it to tourism because it's owned by the government. You no, know, the government shut down, though, didn't they? Yeah, so they, so had, actually, they had to close it. So Tim got two on that for extra credit. <laughs> I'm All gonna right. lose so many points on this round. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> this one uh, I really wanted to do just because uh, you'll see our quotes later. The quote, I'll take pleasure in gutting you, boy, was used in what other film involving Alcatraz? Oh. What other Alcatraz movie? Yeah. Oh. Mm, I oh, no, that was Kid Mo. Uh, oh, boy. I. 
I, I like have an idea of what it is. <laughs> you can't lose points. Buzz in, buzz in. <laughs> can't. All right, is it? It's a Clint Eastwood movie, right? Uh, I cannot maybe, give maybe, any yeah, hints. I was gonna say, maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. It's like uh, Escape. Escape Plan. <laughs> No, that's a uh, <laughs> uh, Sylvester what's Stallone, Stallone? Yeah, yeah, I think, Stallone and, and Arnie, <laughs> uh, and they're making a sequel to it. So, yes. es- Escape Alcatraz. Es- we will give that. Was say, it is it actually Escape, Escape from, from Alcatraz, ah! starring Clint, Clint Eastwood. Eastwood. When, it, when you said Escape, I'm like, oh crap! I know what it is. I could, I did not think you were going to get that one actually. I knew it was a Clint Eastwood movie. I just can't remember. All right, this one's one of the crazy ones. I just decided to throw in there. <laughs> What was the average shot length during film? <laughs> um, it was like 2.4 or 2.5 seconds. Yeah, we'll go with that. It's or the like, average. It's like 2.5 something, 2. 5 and 2. which 5. ended up being like 2,900 2, shots. <laughs> he, Michael Bay at his finest. <laughs> at his finest. <laughs> Going Literally had to set everything up exactly for it. Yep. All right, here's another one for uh, Tim. What are the two instances of Rocket Man in the film? I think it was you buzzing. Yeah, that yeah. Was, was really quiet. Yeah. Uh, well, the Rocket Man scene where he blows the guy out. Uh huh. What's the other one? Yeah, there's two, there's no one. There are two of them. <laughs> if you fail, he can use that part. <laughs> You don't get half credit. He'll this forget by the time it gets there. <laughs> okay, this was like 10 seconds ago. I'm not that bad. Um, the other one was... Uh, I don't know. They call him that? No. I don't know. You they are wrong. song? <laughs> okay, so the first one was the Rocket Man scene, and the other one was... Crap, no, I had it in there. I want the scene. <laughs> Uh, wasn't it with uh, Carla? <laughs> or was that the Beatles? That was the Beatles. I'm going to go with the Carla scene. Well, there's a couple of Carla scenes. Okay. Uh, not the one where they're talking about that she's pregnant. With bang. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like the only scene. Um, May have just said it. <laughs> the one where she's pregnant? It is the one where they're banging on the roof that is playing in the background. I just had to get it because it was such a ridiculous, like, I'm pregnant. Let's have sex on the roof. Let's go right to the roof. <laughs> Michael Let's Bay is like, her. she just said she's pregnant, so we should go to the roof. So I'm going to guess no. I mean, we could give it maybe half a point to somebody. <laughs> give it to uh, Tommy. I'll, I'll take it. He was, he was the closest. Uh, yeah. All right. This one was one of my favorite ones. John C. McGinley, who plays one of the Marines and Dr. Cox on Scrubs, great show, has voiced what comic book superhero? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. What comic book? Okay. Tim, Tim buzzed in. I'll buzz in. Mm-hmm. Why is it so low? I don't know. Yeah, it was so loud <laughs> earlier. What? <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, there, I'm buzzing my time. There you go. Now go. All right, my guess, since we don't get points off, is going to be, uh, uh, I want to say Green Lantern. You are incorrect. That uh, would have been my guess, too, because he just seems like a lantern. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Shazam. Uh, no, he was actually the Adam slash Ray Palmer on uh, Justice League Unlimited. Uh, and just for a little he did play Metallo, but that was a villain on Batman Superman Public Enemies. I did see that one. But I did say superhero, but... <laughs> So, yeah, so I they, did not so know. He, kind of yeah. I did not remember him playing the Adam at no. all. Like, I don't recognize the voice, and I know his. <laughs> now I'll have and to they, go back and rewatch it. Oh, is it still, it's still on Netflix, right? Uh, my, or did I they take it off? They might have. I know Young Justice, I don't think, is on there It's anymore. not on there anymore. All right, this one. The VX nerve gas is green in the film. What color is it in real life? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, uh, blue. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because that's another green screen, color, like a keyed out color. So I'm going to guess white, and then they just... 
No. White would be. It's actually... <laughs> uh, red. <laughs> no. Keep going. We're going to get this. <laughs> Orange. Yes. Ah, that's it's actually like a yellowish brown, brown and it's brown. in pure form. Yeah, well, yellow brown it's, looks it's red. Orange, so. and they did it no. they, didn't they do it because like any combination for green they, is like, yeah. toxic or something? Yeah, they had some, so just, green's normal. But <laughs> Alright, this is the last one. Oh yeah, Tony gets plus one on that one. We're going with it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is going to be a... F- and this one should be an easy one. Who disliked the constant travel to Alcatraz every day of filming? <laughs> <laughs> Sean Connery. Yes. So oh, he so asked they for actually have to be him. Yeah. Built, he asked uh, for a cabin to be yeah. built on Alcatraz because they did film that, and, and he did, got it. And he got it. Yes, I thought that was awesome. <laughs> Which goes into one of my things I like on there. They filmed on set. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. All right, so it definitely added to it. My, I think Tim may have killed you in that. <laughs> Uh, he got three. I got two point five. If I if I kept score correctly, you got two point five. He got one. He got two at the top, so he got four. He got a plus two on okay. that for the month. Yeah, oh for the month. Yeah, for the month. So I was really yeah. lucky. Yeah, I was <laughs> throwing just randomness out there. So that would be two point five. I've got a lot of boxes and circles. And <laughs> I'm not. Sure. I don't know how I can keep this straight, but I do. If anyone's seen the Incredibles two trailer yet, they talk about new math. I think Tony <laughs> is. Like, he is doing new math right now. I'm creating my own new math. <laughs> I do math every day. And I've never done it this way. <laughs> okay, so Tim, you got five and a half points this week. Woo! You're lucky for my <laughs> trip because that was four of them. Good thing I watched the show. Fun. <laughs> yes, for people that haven't, there was a show on, was it Fox, I think? Alcatraz. And every time they cut out, we always would go, Alcatraz. I recommend watching it, so maybe that someone will pick it up. <laughs> it has been not on air for about eight years, but... <laughs> yeah, they left us on a cliffhanger, and I'm still confused on what's going to happen. So everyone should start watching that. And then my points, I have 8.24 points. Oh, This week? This week. Ooh. It's a big one. Yeah, you got that three right off the bat. Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to do the final total math. I'll do that later <laughs> and post it. Right now. Right I now. <laughs> now I have to write another circle over here to circle the time stamp. <laughs> New, math. Yeah, New math. There's a lot of math going on here. It's finally the time for the main event. The moment you've all been waiting for. Our review of The Rock, the movie again. <laughs> Welcome to The Rock. All right, we're going to start with our own summary that we did write before, yeah, which is actually is from our summary. <laughs> it's taken from IMDb. I'm plagiarized. Plagiarized. Um, we'll say borrowed. <laughs> yeah, I like borrowed. We changed one word, so it's ours now. <laughs> two words. Or changed one word to two words. Everyone knows that. It's like every homework assignment. <laughs> <laughs> Just change it up a little bit. A mild-mannered chemist and an ex-con must lead the con- counter-strike when a rogue group of military men, led by a renegade general, threaten a nerve gas attack from The Rock against San Francisco. And it's Dwayne Johnson, Rock. <laughs> <laughs> he is attacking San Francisco. Which, wouldn't that be San Andreas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would that be that, that, be that fun? All right, uh, Luke, you're the guest, so you can go first if you want. All right. Or defer. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to defer. <laughs> I'll go first. So for my top five parts, um, first I'm just going to go with everything Ed Harris did in the film. I thought he acted it great. Um, his speeches were really good for there. Um, he kind of had a consistent character. Like They made him the bad guy, but you can tell he didn't want to be a true bad guy. He just yeah. wanted to get... He was doing like the right thing. Yeah, he no, wanted to do no. right for the people that he knew. Doing like, the wrong thing for the right reason. Yes. That's what it is. He was trying to do right for all the Marines that got screwed. And I like his line right off the bat when he's yelling at the kid. Like, give me someone that's not a baby, like a 30-year-old guy. I think I included that as one of my scenes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're right. Or when uh, he, yeah, and then like, even in like, they get to the island, he's like, hey, grab your teacher. Tell me, <laughs> yeah. Even though like, wouldn't they be the safest on the island with them? Yeah, but that's what I thought. Like, I think you might have been go worried go about down. having kids around a nerve yeah. gas, yeah. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. <laughs> yeah. he just, something does go. I mean, he lost one of his guys right off the bat yeah. to it, yeah. so he knows how bad it is. He saw firsthand what it is. Um, 
Another thing I really liked on here was, even though this is a Michael Bay movie, it's not yet typical Michael Bay movie. Like it's his second movie he did, and he doesn't have his big explosions, like just Those over have, the top characters. Like he does have explosions. Yeah, there's, there's like he did it, and they're like they're they're, 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 they're still they're big. They service yeah. the story. Yeah, yeah, they are big, but they're nowhere like transformers. Good scenes, but they're yeah, they're not like over the top. <laughs> And I mean, or like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and stuff where you just have ridiculous, dumb <laughs> characters in there too. So I mean, it was, you can tell that he was still getting into it. I mean, he had his few Michael Bay moments with some of the girls and stuff, but. Um, the other thing I liked was the little comedy parts that were in the movie though. And from what I read, none of those were in the script. Michael Bay actually tried to make a very serious movie, like yeah. movie. And everyone kind of put in their own little comedy thing and argued to have those in there, which made it much better. Like Kate, everything Cage, added to it, yeah. Like one thing, Nicolas Cage doesn't swear the whole movie. He says "oh geez" and whatnot, oh, and that yeah, was his yeah. thing. He's like, I don't think my character would swear, and he doesn't swear till like the very end. Yeah, after, yeah. I think it's like after he yeah. kills somebody. Yeah, too, he finally, finally says like his swearing. first swear, and he has like two, I think, in the whole movie. Um, and yet. The fact that they used the actual Alcatraz for the set. I mean, most of it was filmed like in Alcatraz and everything, except for maybe that underground thing, which I didn't know what was going right. on. Yeah, sure. yeah, probably that, was just, that was just some weird thing. Yeah. Yeah, but the rest of it was really cool that they used the actual Alcatraz. Yeah. It made it look better than just a generic cell. It's not doing yeah. anything else. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, it was doing tours, okay, it was the, doing tours that people bit. got to watch the movie yeah, then they filmed. Yeah, they were standing there watching them film. And uh, one of my favorite scenes, I just thought it was funny, was when Goodspeed does his negotiations with Mason, and he walks in acting like he's a big shot, and he's like, yeah, yeah, get him a coffee, and uh, <laughs> you, should, you should get a haircut, and everything, like, should, and he's like, who are you? I, I'm, uh, I'm a federal bro, FBI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> yeah. But of when, course was you are. it Mason sits down, or he sits down next to Mason, Mason's like, coffee? He's like, no, I'm good, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so just, one of my favorites, and Mason's like, no, offer me offer coffee. 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 He's like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Get him a coffee. And then he's like, can these handcuffs come off? He's like, you know, can, can. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I the other FBI guy's just like, oh. <laughs> and it's great because you can see he's just so inexperienced in the field, oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's like hyping himself up. <laughs> Which I'm surprised when you said like the other guy. I'm surprised I didn't use him for my trivia because he usually the plays other a, FBI guy. Yeah, because he yeah. usually plays an FBI or kind yeah, I think I he was on my Mike list too. I would have gotten him because it would have been used from Blue Streak, one of my uh, he movies is. I bring up all the time. <laughs> and. Just a random honorable mention was the obvious gay stylist. <laughs> well, he's not a bar, he's a stylist. <laughs> it's, just gay. I, it's just funny because if you think about they're trying to write a very serious movie, why did you put this guy in? <laughs> like, it made no sense. He's like cowering in the middle of, or the corner of the elevator and he's like, but did you like the haircut? <laughs> <laughs> like the haircut? And he gathers all his like uh, haircutting stuff. Yeah. And stuff. And it was it you wouldn't tell Picasso <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Brush. Just, brush. <laughs> That was just great. <laughs> all right, uh, uh, we would, yeah, I'll, go, I'll go first uh, or second. Um, I do love the when one of my favorites is when Mason and Goodspeed are locked in the cells, and I think I use one of the quotes from it though, but like. <laughs> He's like, I'll, I'll take pleasure in gutting you, boy. And he says it like three or four times. It's like a different way each time. And I think I do love uh, Sean Connery's like, I, remember, I loved when they wouldn't let us talk or something. Yeah. It's like, yeah, inmates weren't allowed to speak. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, like, Nicolas Cage was just ad libbing that whole, whole scene, and oh, yeah. it was perfect. Uh, second would be the Rocket Man scene, just because it, it seemed really out of place Wait, for the sex movie. one or the <laughs> probably, probably fires, say both of them, <laughs> both. <laughs> but when he fires the rocket at the guys, like, hey, do you listen to Elton John? <laughs> no, I don't listen to this. <laughs> that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad because you are him, the, the Rocket, rocket Man. man. <laughs> hits the button. Uh, <laughs> this one, the cable car conductor during the chase in, in San Francisco. <laughs> it's only for like a minute, but he's like my favorite character in the whole movie. He's like, when I find him, I, I, I swear to God, I'm going to kill him. Like screaming. Oh, he should have been dead too, by the way. He definitely was still in the car. There's no way he jumped out. I was so mad you took this as a top five. I wanted him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Uh, I do love the, this one's a little more serious, the shower room. When the Marines have the upper hand on the Navy SEALs, he's like, 
yelling, and they're yelling yeah. back and forth. He's like, you don't want anyone to die here. And he's like, you know I can't put my guns down. But, yeah, and then you could tell he didn't want to kill anybody. Like, that's no, one that's... of the big moments. You could tell he didn't want anyone to die during this. Um, oh, and then my number five is... Uh, God's uh, Goodspeed or Nicholas Cage throwing the grenade that got thrown in his little <laughs> mining truck. Was there mines on where Alcatraz? Yeah, I was gonna, oh, I was gonna write this. It's like the Indiana Jones. Yeah, like, that's the first thing you think of when you see like, that scene. What is that to it? But he, but it does like, bother me. It's just the funniest. It's just the grenade lands at his feet and he's like, oh, <laughs> like throws it. Like, so nonchalant. <laughs> so nonchalant. It makes he me just ma- throws it. Makes me actually mad that they never do that in movies after that. It should happen more often. <laughs> yeah. Instead of just jumping on top of the grenade like <laughs> Captain America. <laughs> Run away, guys. Run away. <laughs> Probably the same scene, I think. They... <laughs> All right, now we'll move on to my favorite parts. Uh, one of mine was when the mercenaries turn on Ed Harris, but he won't launch the bombs. Like when in the, they all had the like at the end, yeah, when, when they're all pointing at <laughs> it. I do like his second hand man. That the guy uh, who plays the second hand man. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when he's aiming at him, and then he just. He's he knew, turned, he he turned he's like, I got you. Guy. Yeah. you see the other guy? That was a good scene, yeah. But yeah, his quote, I didn't use it in the quotes, but I put, I'm not about to kill 80,000 innocent people. You think I'm out of my fucking mind? <laughs> we bluffed, they called it. The mission's over. They called our bluff. Yeah. And then they're like, well, uh, we're not, we're, we're serious. And then that whole scene was just... Probably would help his bluff if he didn't give them like 72 hours. Awesome. Yeah. I saw yeah. about that. He gave them a ridiculous <laughs> amount of time. <laughs> I think that ties into one of my problems. <laughs> But, oh, uh, I thought of another. I was going to use this as my trivia. Do you know uh, what Tony Todd? What other show he was in? He did a voice. Yeah. His second guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's so done the a big, lot. The, big, yeah, he's done the a bigger lot. black big, guy. Uh, big black guy. Oh, him. Oh, he does a lot of like on shows. Him. One of our yeah, favorite yeah. shows. Oh, I got so many. Uh, he voices Zoom. Yep. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yep. he was. He was going to be my "Who Am I?" But then I thought you'd get that right away. Which I, now I, I feel would. like I should have used that. I tricked you. <laughs> I tricked you. I'm playing the long con. <laughs> uh, my other one was, was oh, when the White House guy gets shut down by Hummel, like when he's like, oh, "I'll get this kid out of here." Yeah, <laughs> I, he's like CIA or whatever. Yeah, or something yeah, like what, that. Whichever one. He's How old are you? Thirty-three. <laughs> I know more than I've you ever running, I've been running black ops since you were nine years old. Yeah, or not even. I think he was younger than that. But yeah, that that whole scene just like showing like he's like I know how all this all this runs. Mm-hmm. Like he's a part of it. And then I liked how like all the nods to Sean Connery being James Bond, <laughs> him being British or ex ex special um, ops or whatever. I mean, it's, it's still keep getting. Clearly, was Scottish he MI, guy. Do they say MI6? No, they never no, acknowledge him. They, 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 they just say they actually he, acknowledge that the British don't know was, who he is, yeah. and they say the Americans don't know. He who was he trained is. B- trained by uh, British uh, SAS. Well, he says Naval. SAS. We don't know if that's actually true or not. But right? I think they used uh, that they made it so that he was trained by the same people James Bond was trained yeah. by, though, just yeah. so that they. Could but use you that. don't know if he was just making up a lie or whatnot, because all that they got was he was a thief. Like a big, a yeah, good yeah. time thief that had special training, <laughs> but no one wants to acknowledge who he is. Yeah, which goes into the James Bond like the whole, lore. Yeah, the whole backstory. <laughs> now I'm gonna watch all the James Bond with men and on VHS. <laughs> on VHS, okay, have them if, you, if you got a player <laughs> right next to you. <laughs> yes, we have a VCR <laughs> sitting under an Xbox One X. <laughs> that is entertainment, the right peak there. Of <laughs> the peak of technology. <laughs> Uh, another scene I liked was when uh, Goodspeed covers for Mason when, with his daughter when they show up. He's like, oh yeah, he's, uh, he's working with us, helping us out, instead of saying he escaped and <laughs> he escaped. Him, broke a man's arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I liked how he was able to just get out of it like with just a quarter. So it kind of goes into like the James Bond, I could do whatever I want, which was nice. Yeah. Um, and then my honorable mention was just Sean Connery himself. <laughs> Just being Sean Connery. Just him doing him. Sean Connery. Yeah, I'd say my honorable mention is just Nick Cage. Doing Nick Cage. <laughs> doing Nick Cage stuff. Cage um, the Cage. So a few problems with the movie. Uh, Luke, you want to start us off? Oh, sweet. Um, one of my problems was FBI incompetence throughout the whole movie. <laughs> I mean, first off, when he's doing the interrogation, 
everyone walks out when uh, he and they just leave him in the room, like the room alone. You think they would watch one, <laughs> yeah. one guy like watching him with this quarter, and then you think they would have heard with the quarter. Like there's just a million things going on, on and then <laughs> yeah, I mean it's awesome scene, but it makes the FBI look so bad. And then when he escapes them, with, like the yeah. shower curtain, and All he like who would be like just order some room service? Yeah, yeah and then it. and then he's like. I want to get my hair cut on the balcony. Yeah, this seems about right. Yeah, like, there's, we should definitely do what the guy that's well, great at escaping wants us to do. That ties into one of my points, too. It's like, only with uh, the stylist, Nick Cage, and the old FBI guy. Like, all three of those guys could definitely stop. Him. Everyone else inside, don't worry about it. Don't yeah, worry, stay inside. Has, the incompetence is so bad, but they had to let the movie go on, I guess. And then this would just bothers me, and I don't care about anyone's logic. Why did Mason originally go through the flames and not use the door? It opens into the room. He's going, so it wouldn't lock that way. Yeah, it's not going to be locked. <laughs> go in. Security guard. That's all no. I'm saying. Security guard then watches him roll into flames and goes, Oh, that guy's dead. That's what I would do. He's like, I'm not going to look into this. It would also be cool if he just did it to go in just to be like, I can do this. <laughs> Instead of He's being like, yeah, he had to the sit there and time it. Like, <laughs> I got nothing better to do. I'm trying to escape this place. There's a door. No, I'm going out with style <laughs> through out. the flames. Let's make a better story. Which bothered me too. What is that flame pendulum thing doing? What does that do in a building? <laughs> Why is that there? <laughs> Why is that there? It's a good point. <laughs> Okay, my my two that bothered bothered me was at the very end of the movie when he's got the syringe, he completely <laughs> misses his heart and stabs himself in the stomach. It's the only directive he, for using it is he, to stab yourself in the, in the heart, <laughs> and he, he is way down here and should be dead. And he's not when, even supposed to stab himself with that. It's a self puncturing, so he's just supposed to put it over your heart and push a button. But he does. He pushes it out first, then tries to stab himself, which uses it completely wrong. And he's <laughs> the one that should know how to use it. Yeah, right. Even though in the beginning of the movie he's yelling, get that away from me. <laughs> uh, on my number two is the bathroom that he pukes in. There's there's sinks lined up next to each other, but no mirrors. So if like you're on either side, you're just looking at someone else. I don't know. It, I think bugs, was, it bugs me every time I see that movie. I think that was filmed in, on Alcatraz, that scene. Like, But it wasn't yeah, supposed so to sure be. Not gonna but it was filmed on Alcatraz, but it wasn't supposed to be on like the prison. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looked like a prison bathroom. It, just, it bugs here, me every time. We're here, we're going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, filmed, we got this. We're paying for this set. We're using, <laughs> we're using it. it. All right, one of my problems with it was how they, he had to, they have the timeline to get the money. And it's like, okay, we're going to use Mason and stuff like that, but... They're taking the time. Oh, yeah, let's rent out the hotel. Let's get him the hair. <laughs> let's take all this time for this guy while the clock's still... I even though they got like seven, he, two hours. He gave him an obnoxious window. I think I would be like, you guys have four hours. Give me this money. Because right, even in there, they're wire transferring it. It's not like yeah. some guy's he, walking it over. Yeah, he knows that they can get the money if they need the money. He actually yeah. gave them lots of opportunities to set up a team, get them going. Now I want to see a movie where Nick Cage has to walk the money over. <laughs> hey, guys, I got your money. Here's the money. And then my other problem was, how did Mason get across the scene at the end? Where he like jumps the pillars. Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's the Flash. Did he, he's the Flash. Did, he, did he just fly over there? He's a seventy year old guy. Or Nick Fast. Cage. Or, isn't Nick Cage reading something? Yeah. He might he's be the slowest reader in the world. <laughs> right. well, it's a letter of like ten words. Right. I did say it's cool though how it's like, okay, he's mysterious. He can go... Can kind of fly around like that. No one will know. Because he's giving them the address for the film. So all it is was right. an address. <laughs> and then like he four, looks up. Four lines max, he so looks really. up and he's just a hundred yards away. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like on a girder too. Yeah, it's like across water. And... <laughs> yes, it looked really cool though. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it was more of like a stickler. Like, oh, well, why did they do that? But that's how that goes. All right, now we're gonna do some favorite quotes that we had from the movie. Luke, you just go with me. Yeah, uh, we'll start with you. Um. I'm just going to go with everything Ed Harris said as a quote. Um, I liked all his little speeches. I thought they were great. Next would be good speed. Can you do something about that? Mason. Like what? Kill him again? <laughs> That's another oh, one of those little so jokes. Yeah, his legs are twitchy. Do you, want me to, do that? <laughs> you want me to kill him again? I don't know. He's like, you've been around uh, dead bodies a lot, right? <laughs> And then last is, the, is that normal? Yeah. He yells it too. Yeah. Nicholas Cage form yells it. Yeah. That was actually a really good Nicholas Cage because he got a little crazy there. Yes. And then uh, last one is good speed. 
I meant it at the time. And Carla goes, Stanley, at the time, you said it seven and a half seconds ago. And that's what she's telling him. She's pregnant. And right beforehand, he's like, no one should have a kid. And she's like, yeah. I'm pregnant. He's like, all right, I'm excited for this. She's like, wait, you just said no one should have a kid. He's like, no, with, like, like his guitar or banjo. It's just like, all It's right, a guitar. Right. And he's <laughs> naked, too. Yeah, he's naked <laughs> Which too. Didn't, I didn't understand. But okay, <laughs> let it happen. <laughs> Does as he please. All right. My number one. Walmack. Why am I not surprised, you piece of shit? <laughs> definitely the best line of the whole movie. For two weeks I've heard this line. He's been waiting. <laughs> He's been waiting. Well, whenever I watch, like, or whenever it's on TV, I always tweet, <laughs> tweet you piece of shit. You piece of shit. I mean, he just heads through the window. Like, which the corner really didn't do anything. It looked like he just elbowed. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he hits around it to make it look like he was trying to do something. No, no, he, he puts he his elbow through it. Elbows through not window. only is he the fastest man on He's got the strong. Sorry. He's got the yeah. rock elbow, the people's elbow, the right? People's <laughs> elbow. Where do you think the rock got that move from? <laughs> uh, lots and of inspiration. My number two is from both the guy that says it to him and Nicolas Cage repeating it like five times. But I'll take pleasure in getting you, <laughs> boy. boy. <laughs> and, uh, another one from the cell scene. But how, in the name of Zeus's butthole, did you get out of your cell? And then Nichols Cage, or uh, Sean Connery walks up. He's like, trade secrets, trade my secret. son. <laughs> Another line that uh, Michael Bay hated. <laughs> was that the butthole oh, one? Yeah. yeah. The, the, uh, yeah, I read that one. He's, and Nichols Cage was adamant about <laughs> keeping it. Bubble. I'm so glad he kept it. Uh, and then we talked about it uh, just through in like the, I didn't know if we were going to say it, but the, hi, I'm agent with the federal FBI. Well, I'm I'm Stanley Goodspeed, but of course you are. <laughs> Which is why I thought you would have gotten it. Because it's funny. One of my favorite quotes, which it's always a great line. Mm. Uh, this is. It's when Stanley and Mason are talking. He goes, "Your best," or sorry, "Your best." <laughs> Losers always whine about their best. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. And then Stanley's like, "Carla was the prom queen." Really? <laughs> yeah. And he <laughs> he finally feels gun. cool. The most <laughs> badass scene from Cage. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, another one was, look, listen, I think we got started off on the wrong foot. Stan Goodsby, FBI. Uh, <laughs> let's talk music. Do you like Elton John? Song Rackman? I don't like soft ass shit. <laughs> Oh, you. Oh, it, well, I only bring it up because it's you. You were the Rocket Man. <laughs> Rocket Man. If they would have played the song, they should have. Yeah. Why didn't they play the song? <laughs> they because didn't, they didn't know back then. That scene. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't know back then. It wasn't like Kingsman was out where they knew to play. Right, music. Yeah. Yeah, they would have. <laughs> um, and then at the um, end of the movie, well, uh, <laughs> like, what vaporized? A body can vaporize? And Stanley's like, oh yeah, of course, sir, absolutely <laughs> makes sense. I wouldn't argue it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're not gonna argue with a scientist about that kind of stuff. His cat's still missing. <laughs> uh, vaporized. All right, we didn't know if we were going to do this one, but I, it was tough. Very tough. It was very hard to do. Very tough I knew exactly. re- recasting, but we're going to recast uh, John Mason. 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 <laughs> John, John Mason. <laughs> Sir Sean Connery. <laughs> and uh, Stanley Goodspeed. Nick Cage. Uh, Luch, you want to start us? Uh, for Mason, uh, this is my go-to for everything Sean Connery. <laughs> I replace him with Idris Elba. I just want him to be the new James Bond. Basically take all Sean Connery's roles and now have Idris Elba do them. <laughs> and then for good speed, um, you got to understand, from 90, like 96, 97, Keanu Reeves. Yes. Like at that yeah, time, he would have been perfect for a replacement. And then today, I would have to throw like Topher right Grace. Be- right before <laughs> Matrix. Like yeah, where it was. Still, like, you still remember well, I looked, was it, was it after, I looked it up. Is, uh, Matrix, Matrix was 97, 98, I think. And it started filming. after Speed, too. Yeah, so right. during oh, Speed, yeah. you had Speed, Point so Blake, and all be... that. He was doing these FBI yeah. agents, oh, but he was never perfect at it. So I was like, it would have been great. He could have just been a little nerdy. And I think the movie right before this yeah. was Johnny Nememek. Um, wow, I can't say one for a while. Uh, uh, Johnny Nememek. So, <laughs> I cannot say that one. It's the one though where you can put like storage in your head, and he over stores it. It's a really bad counter reason. Oh, it's yeah, it's remember. brutal for people that have <laughs> seen it. Um, and then like today, it would be Topher Grace. He just reminds me of the character. He could play that nerdy character that's not good at being an FBI badass. Yeah, that, that was and absolutely. he could do the not swearing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, I have for Mason. 
I'm switching the whole plot around though. <laughs> this is going to be taking place in Britain, and they're escaping from, or they're breaking into a fe- like a supermax British mm-hmm. prison. And Nick Cage has broken out before, mm-hmm. and okay. he's playing Mason. And then Goodspeed, we'd have to go with a British actor. And I was thinking, I like how you're thinking about this. Taron Egerton. Yeah. Kingsman. I've seen him in Eddie the Eagle. He plays a really good, like nerdy yeah. person. Or just go straight up nerd. Simon Same Pegg yeah. would be them working off each other would be perfect. Hot Fuzz Two. Oh yeah, Hot <laughs> Fuzz Two. Yeah. So I'm thinking, or you make Mason really nerdy, like, yeah. and that's where Taron Egerton comes in. I did think Taron also. In my yeah. Head. I, I I thought he was too short. To, I thought he would like, <laughs> to play that to play, like, against like. Sean Connery, who's, yeah. I, I think, huge. Or you just make Nick Cage, like, a badass, which would be funny as well. <laughs> and then Simon Pegg is the nerd, <laughs> and it'd be perfect. Goes in my five favorite roles. Yeah. Nicholas Cage being a badass. And then for me, for Mason, I tried to pick an actor who was about the same age as Sean Connery was, so, mm-hmm. like, 60s. So I went with Pierce Brosnan, also just to continue it being a the Bond, Bond. <laughs> character. Then I also put Bruce Willis. <laughs> Bruce Willis. <laughs> Bruce Willis for everyone else. Um, he, could, he could do like that kind of hard-ass role. Yeah. But that he's just been doing for... For <laughs> yeah. Since, Since Die Hard. Yeah, kind of like a inspiration from like Red and Red 2. Yeah, yeah that, I could see that. And then for Goodspeed, I, I don't know why I brought these two, but I thought Chris Evans could do it. Just be like the nice... Nerdy, super type, nice, super yeah. nice guy, and then Bradley Cooper could pull it off. Actually, at least like the he'd be more of a super comp, super competent FBI. Yeah, guy. Chris Evans be good if you saw um, was it Losers? Mm-hmm. He could play almost like that character again. Yeah. So I mean, it'd be pretty believable. It would be, there. Yeah, it would be interesting. I, I just like mm-hmm. how they were doing. So that's why I picked him. Bradley Cooper, I just wanted to be hangover Bradley Cooper. <laughs> him being too cool, actually take the character completely different and make him really cool. <laughs> just a badass. No one would know what's going on. All right, any final thoughts on the movie before we jump over to rankings? Uh, phenomenal right. movie. I, whenever, it's on t- whenever it's on TV, I stop and watch it. We'll give it a... Usually from the same spot, but... We'll give it a two thumbs up. Give it a... You need to watch it yes. if you haven't. I did buy the DVD for this. Yes. And <laughs> we like, had to zoom it in because it was a normal DVD. I have a widescreen. Otherwise, it was like... We were watching on a... What is it? A 60? Yes. And it was like a 32. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, it's not even widescreen. Like, it, was, it was a lot of work to get it to look good. <laughs> But definitely highly but recommend it. It holds up, too. It does. Because they didn't yes. use... I mean, it's a big thing about not using CGI and stuff. It holds up. It's all, pre- you know, Michael Bay, big explosions, and there's I'm just some to, goofy stuff in I'm there. I'm trying to think of any CGI. I don't think there's No, any. I don't think there is. Okay. I mean, maybe I know some... They use I don't maybe think some the flames, movie, but... For I mean, the, the jets flying over, they use stock footage of Blue Angels. Like, yeah. That's, like, that's, that's, like, like, that's awesome. Man. The only thing might be the guy's... Probably makeup, too, is the guy's face melting at the very beginning, but I'm guessing that would be just that practical makeup, yeah. though, probably. So, I mean, that's what helps it. I mean, it looks good. The story can actually still apply today, because I guarantee yeah, you there's still... still military guys getting screwed over. Oh, absolutely. You can... So, I mean, it still works you to this day. You could probably do this movie every 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just yeah. redo it. <laughs> Two new characters. What movie is Due Date? <laughs> there's, oh, my... there's one of those movies every year. <laughs> that's a ridiculous thing. S- sleepy good movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very hangover one and a half. <laughs> yeah. With Robert Downey Jr. Alright, let's jump over to Rankin Cage. <laughs> We're gonna list our top five cage movies. Uh Luch, you wanna uh, start? Head it up again. again. Alright. This one was actually hard. I had it watched a lot well. of Nicolas Cage movies, probably more than anyone should. That's why, that's why it was easier for me, but I do want to watch more Cage movies. You've seen so. the Community episode where they, I, I'm that guy. I saw I've seen like all that clip. <laughs> I've gone, de- I've gone too far in, too. Go in too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so first I have Gone in 60 Seconds. I mean, that's one of Nicolas Cage's two cool ones where he's in there. And I just love the supporting cast on There's it. There's so Everyone's, many people yeah, in there. And they're all cool and awesome in there, so. Um, second one I have is Kick-Ass. Just because he's ridiculous, but Big he's a daddy. ridiculous badass. Yeah. And I mean, it's that we got to see Nick Cage play Batman. Yeah, I which I didn't know I needed to see. <laughs> um, I actually have over the Rock was I like Con Air more. Um, I think it's got a little. It is a little bit goofier of a cast, but I like the. 
I like it as being Southern and <laughs> trying to talk. And it's kind of, you know, he's not acting crazy in there. He's just Southern for some reason. <laughs> they said make that. This one, most people probably have not seen is uh, Matchstick Men. Um, it's a really good movie. It's a slower no one. He's a con. About it. He's a con, He's a con and it has right? um, Sam. You like him, Sam Rock- Rockwell? Sam yeah, Rockwell. Sam Rockwell's in there. It's like his partner. I love any movie with him in there. Yeah. So it's one that I tell. It's a slower movie. It's not like an action. He's actually doing good acting in there. Right. And then besides uh, the one scene that I think I'm thinking of. Probably there might. Oh, he with in the, the movie. The, he's got OCD, so he's okay, got a little yeah, goofy because of the OCD in there. And the last would be Lord of War. Oh, that one's just Great awesome. Movie. I That's love a true story one, right? Isn't it's it? kind of or like it. Yeah, they have there's gun on. runners. And I mean I like Jared Leto, even though people didn't like his Joker. I mean I think well, he does he's a good yeah, yeah, He dives into his roles like really hard and really cool movie. And again, it's another one where he's acting semi normal. I mean, there's a little crazy stuff with him in drugs. I did have to throw two honorable mentions though. One was Face Off, which is another that was awesome because He's not acting himself. He's acting like John Travolta, which is another yeah. over the top. <laughs> so it's like, all right, both maybe going he's been crazy. For and for anyone that has not seen it, you need to see Bad Lieutenant Port of Call. I need to see it. That is where people get the bad. Um, he has a scene in there where he's like, you got to take a hit from this. And it's like, why? It's my lucky crack pipe. <laughs> and he's like, he shoots a guy. And then he's like, shoot it. And after a guy's landing on the ground, he's like, shoot him again. He's like, why? He's like, his soul is still dancing. And they show a guy doing like an Irish jig. And he's just cracking up. Dude. And also he is a cop and he's doing crack with people and stuff. And he like bangs a girl that he catches with some crack. Like she's out on the street with her boyfriend. Grabs crack off of her. Smokes the crack off her. And then starts having sex with her. And her boyfriend tries to run away. And he's like, no, you watch this. <laughs> and like makes him watch it. It's so, it's so bad. It's great. It's so bad. It's, great. it's just above the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah. above the yeah. That's saying a lot. Yeah. All right. I'll go my uh, top five. I'll throw an honorable mention. I forgot to put on there. But The Rock. This uh, this is one of those movies that anytime it's on TV, I will sit there. Even if I have something to do, I will watch this whole movie. Uh, Kick-Ass, number two. Him as Big Daddy or mm-hmm. like a pseudo-Batman. It's just mm-hmm. amazing. Like the scene where he's in the chair and like yelling at <laughs> oh, yeah. Like one of my favorite scenes. Uh, Gone in 60 Seconds, of course. And then National Treasure. I can watch no. this movie all the time. Anytime it's on. It is he's got the Nick Cage hair even. One like, or two. Big hair. One or two. One or two. Uh, one is one is better. over, mm-hmm. but yep, yeah, either of them. And then I got Con Air rounding out the five. And then my honorable mention is Wild at Heart. Because <laughs> yeah. we just watched it and it's the most ridiculous <laughs> Nick Cage movie I've ever seen. Not she sure literally it's it's kills <laughs> Kill someone in five minutes, not no, two. two minutes, and no explanation for a good like 30 minutes. And he wears a sk- snake skin jacket the whole time. He talks like Elvis. He talks like Elvis. <laughs> it is the most ridiculous. It's movie. a John Lynch movie, so oh, I mean, David, how- Lynch. David Lynch. David Lynch. Yeah, John-, John Lynch, the football player. <laughs> I want to see that movie now. <laughs> that but would be phenomenal. Wild at Heart, worth the $3 that you would pay for it. At- it's it's probably less. <laughs> at Best Buy. They're probably giving them away for free somewhere. <laughs> Pick this up and watch it. William Defoe plays a great villain. Yeah, and he, we were just talking he's about normal. Him. Yeah, it's... he plays the creepiest guy I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, he's... and the Lauren Dern from Jurassic Park is also in it. And if you want to see her ca- nude, surprisingly good cast. I was say, yeah, you if you want to see her just... nude, it... she is nude a lot. It is, it is a very good movie, but like every scene with him is a treat. Like if you just watch him the whole movie, ah, uh, totally worth it. It's a special movie, yes. Yeah. All right, my top five cage movies. Uh, number one, National Treasure. Just absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That's all yeah, I'm the only say. one other like planet that's not a fan of this movie. <laughs> Well, it's on it's, Netflix it's, and I watch it all And it's time. not like it's the best movie ever, but it's it's cool. It's got like history stuff. It, it <laughs> could, oh, fake. It could, all be, it could be real. It's we don't know. That. We don't really know. Templars. Masons. <laughs> Templars. Freemasons. It's all real. Assassins. <laughs> assassins. <laughs> now, I mean, Nicolas Cage video game. He's an assassin. Let's, <laughs> let's get this working. Or Assassin's Creed 2. He's, <laughs> he's the leader of the Templars. And then my second favorite is The Rock. 
Um, same if it's on TV, it's I sit there and watch it. Got it all the way through. Uh, number three, Gone in sixty seconds. Uh, four, Face Off, and five, possibly contentious, but I like Ghost Rider. Have you seen the second one? I have not. Actually. <laughs> you have to see the second. I think I saw like the second half of the second one. <laughs> it's terrible. I think it's really not good, but I still. The I, first uh, one, I, I, first I, one, I, yeah, I the first one. Yeah. I mean, he wanted to play Which, that role really, really bad. Yeah, I know. Yes, exactly. I know you don't watch Agent Shield, but we mm-hmm. both do, and they definitely hinted that he that is connected to everything, yeah. <laughs> like big yeah, time. But you're right. The second yeah. one was very. You like, have the oh, second okay. one was I, I. I watched it in a theater, which was even worse. Oh, yeah. So I couldn't even get up and like <laughs> take a break. <laughs> I had to you power had to through it, and, watch it. and it was the whole movie. I was laughing and going, I don't know what's going on. I. A lot of it, I think he's like doing drugs in the movie, but I wasn't sure if they were really doing drugs because <laughs> they just things didn't make sense. I think it's the and second one where the actor, the, the actor who plays the devil's kid or whatever, yeah, he hated or like he was not into acting, so he would just yeah do drugs and stuff and show up late <laughs> on set. No, I mean it, so really, was, half of them you think they're all just taking drugs and it's like let's film a movie. All right, <laughs> like Nicolas Cage is just screaming like. If you've ever seen um, Wicker Man, he's like that screaming <laughs> the whole movie. Actually, I think I mixed up Wicker Man and Matchstick Man is what I was, uh, I was yeah. thinking of. The, yep. Not good. the bees! Yes. That's what I was thinking <laughs> Yeah, that's not, not, <laughs> not that one. Great one. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I, I enjoy those. They're, they're all, they're all gems. <laughs> yeah, this might lead into people, if you're listening to our spinoff show, me and Luke's Talk Nick Cage. <laughs> yes. Good or crazy. Never bad. No, it's good, good or crazy. crazy. I think that spinoff's coming. That has been the special edition of Mild Manor Movie Reviews. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tim and Tony Talk, and leave us a comment. You can also find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Tim and Tony Talk. And follow us on Twitter at Tim and Tony Talk. Also check out our new website, timandtonytalk.com, to keep up with our blog and podcast. Make sure to join us on our next episode for our discussion on the past week's TV recap. Same bat time, same bat channel. Thanks for listening. I'm Tim. I'm Tony. And I'm Luch. We are the Three Stooges. Good night. Good night. Good night.